across the street here, Kim. I don't know if you can see, but... It really is uncanny the way he spots them. How did you spot that? It was hidden behind two cars. Yeah, I mean, I got a sixth sense for this. Andrew Ward's like a guide on a safari in South LA. They tend to lurk, and you have to kind of look carefully. Here's our first candidate. His candidate looks a little like Captain Kirk's chair. Chair has a seat belt if Kirk were homeless. So, they, you know, although they, these are inanimate objects, there's a certain amount of humanity to uh, each one. 20 years ago, Ward left Dublin and, Sometimes. after a stint in Vancouver, came to Los Sometimes. Angeles where he works as a Hollywood cinematographer. He was driving home one day when he noticed something he rarely saw in Ireland. Couches just left there out on the curb. And I just, for some reason, began photographing them. And now, he says, he can't stop. Ward moves it to get a better shot. Are bed bugs ever a problem? I don't lie down on them or get too comfortable. Then he puts it back exactly where he found it. All right, let's find our, our next victim. So here's a typical example, Kim. Today, it seems like there's one on every corner. We've kind of stayed in the same kind of circumference, and it's like we got five of them. So you can multiply that citywide and figure how many sofas you think are on the streets. Mm. Thousands of them. Ward has a theory. Two, actually. L.A., he yeah. says, is becoming a hub of transient residents, people passing through in search of opportunity. This is nasty. And these couches, they're an ugly symbol of how we're becoming a more and more disposable society. We buy something one day that, you know, the next day is no longer in vogue and it gets thrown out on the sidewalk like it's trash. But this, this is more than just trash, he says. Each couch tells a story and is as culturally relevant as a statue. Sort of a, a small visual history of the, these areas as well. Eventually, he hopes to publish this visual history in a book. Ward isn't the first to photograph abandoned furniture, but this is what makes him unique. Okay. Wait, sorry, what, what are you doing right now? After each shot, he pulls out his phone. The city of Los Angeles actually have a very useful smartphone app and he reports the furniture's location to the city for pickup. It's part of a new municipal program to get rid of junk before people are encouraged to dump more of it out on the street. A woman just yell out, thank God for you, you're cleaning up the neighborhood. Is that a typical reaction? I think most people kind of get it at the end, but when you kind of pull out your camera and start photographing it, it's, they definitely think you're nuts. Just ask Gabriel Juarez. He watches Ward shoot a couch that's been squatting on his street for weeks. Do you see any any beauty in, you know, a couch sitting on the, <laughs> on the curb? Nah, I don't think so. You're putting on a, a safety vest here? The last couch of the day, his favorite so far. It has good bones. I bet you it's a pretty uh, comfortable sofa. Still, he wouldn't actually sit on it, but it'll make a good shot. There is a strange and sad beauty to these photographs. There. Imagine how this looks to neighbors. For a minute, it seems like this man in an official looking bib is gonna finally drag this eyesore away. Instead, he just rearranges it. He's been doing this for three years, photographed and called in more than 600 couches. Every time he comes across a new one to shoot, he asks himself, when am I done? When should I stop? Oof. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Los Angeles.